Hello guys, today we're going to be solving problem 21 on project order, which is amicable numbers. Let d of n be defined as the sum of proper divisors of n, numbers less than n, which divide evenly into n. If d of a equals b and d of b equals a, where a is not equal to b, then a and b are amicable pairs, and each of a and b are called amicable numbers. Then it gives us examples for 220 and the divisors equal 284 and then the divisors for 284 equal that of equal to 20 so that makes them amicable numbers and then it's asking us to find the amicable numbers or all the sum of the amicable numbers under 10,000 so the only hard part about this problem is pretty much finding a good algorithm to come up with the divisors the proper divisors and which is pretty easy because if you have been doing the probability Euler questions and you're here, uh, you should be able to find that by now and figure out a really good and proper way to find it. Okay. So let's go ahead and implement the solution for it. So let's go ahead and open up your favorite IDE and create a Java class. I'll call this one amicable numbers. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and um, pretty much get the sum, right? But first we need to get the divisors for it. So I'm just going to do that in one. So I'm going to do private static in here. And this is going to be um, the divisors. It's going to take in the value that we want to find the divisors for. So remember that the first thing that we need is to uh, get the square root of the number. It can easily be done by using the math library. All right. Next thing we need to do is keep a list. So I'm gonna say that the list is gonna equal and I'm going to use a hash set here, all right, just because this takes care of the duplicates, for example, for numbers like 16. And then we need a variable to keep track of the sum, all right, this is going to be zero for now. All right, and then what we need to do is pretty much just uh, add one first. The reason I'm adding one is because we can include uh, the number, the value in our proper divisors so the only way to get one is if we have 16 divided by 16 inside of the loop and we can have that so i'm going to take care of this right here and then and then inside of the loop at one i'm going to start it at two all right so it's going to be all right so now we have this all right, I'm gonna say if the value mod v is equal, equal to zero, then we can just do the entire uh, calculations in here. So we're just gonna say that the list that we're gonna add the v, right? And then we're gonna do list that add, then we're gonna do value divided by v, all right? Then to get the sum, what we can do is, um, let me see how I want to, okay. So we just say sum is going to equal, and you can use the parallel stream method and use the reduce method. Then it's going to be zero and we can use the integer and the sum method. So this is more of a Java 8 stuff and then just go ahead and return the sum okay so at least this will give us the sum of the all of the proper divisors all right so now what we have to do is actually calculate the amicable sum i'm going to create another private uh, static int here and it's going to be sum amicable numbers and let's just take in the limit here. All right, so we can just pass that in more easily. 
All right, so we can start our loop at, um, we can start at two. X is less than or equal to actual x less than the limit to x plus plus. All right, so that formula. Um, so d of a, d of b, a not equal to b. All right, so what we need to do is we're going to say that we're looking for d um, d of a. Right, gonna equal to b, and then the d of b should equal to a, and a is not equal to b. Okay, so that should be easy to do. I'm gonna say there, b is gonna equal the divisors, and then we're gonna pass in x. And then there a should equal as the divisors of b, right? So that should be it. Then we just gotta do a check. So we're gonna say that if um, x, right, is not equal to b and x equal equal to a then there are makeable numbers. So we can just sum that up. Um, so what we need to do is create a variable for sum. So I'm gonna say var sum gonna equal to zero. So I'm gonna say that the sum plus equal to the plus equals x, right? Then we can go ahead here and just return the sum. Next thing we want to do is we just want to go ahead and print things out. So we can just create main for that. I mean, most of the time I would say create a test class, but eh, not to need to hear. So literally it's like almost one o'clock and I'm up. All right, so this would be the sum of makeable numbers and we need to pass in 10,000. So um, that should be it. Then let's go ahead and run this. And this should be the solution for it. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. If you like it, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.